All right, I'm back. So, um, <clears throat> I got everything from our closets, our drawers. Um, I don't think I missed anything. This is everything that we have that's clean. Um, like I said, I have a few loads that are in our laundry room that are not clean, and I'll just do that separately. I may do a video. I may not. <laughs> um, but this is our pile that we have. It... I don't know if you can really tell, but it is kind of a big pile of clothes. And to be honest, I can say that out of my clothes, I only use one third or less, maybe. And out of my husband's clothes, he kind of does really good with rotating some of his stuff and wearing it. Um, but some shirts, honestly, he shouldn't keep. Like, he's had them for years. They have holes everywhere. Um, you know, he does a lot of like he really wears out his clothes and so some of it just needs to go um oh, miss this shirt right here um but yeah so one of her tips for when starting off to kind of get the process going and i have a basket here for the things that i'm gonna donate i'll bag and donate um <clears throat> So one of her tips is to start with something you for sure know you're not going to keep or for sure you know you're going to keep. And so I'm going to start with something that I know I'm not going to keep. Um, so this, this jacket I got about, I think it's three years ago. Yeah, I got it in fall of 2017, or no, 16, I think, and it fits, but um, it has, like, holes in the pockets, and um, I don't know, it's just not, um, basically the process is, to kind of go through things and see if they still spark joy for you and for me um honestly this does not do that for me anymore i was in love with this jacket for two years and i think i kind of wore it out um for years this was my go-to jacket did not wear anything else this was my baby and although i think it's beautiful um it's just, like I said, doesn't do it for me anymore. And I actually, this year, my grandmother gave me, I don't know if it's in this pile, um, but she gave me a sweater or cardigan that looks just like it. Same colors, black and white. So, for me, um, I do prefer that one. Um, so, I'm just kind of wearing that one now. Um, and I think I actually, it's in my car. So, this one I am donating, and, um, I wanted to start with this because I know exactly who I'm giving it to. They're one of my friends. She's like, if you ever get rid of this jacket, I want it. <laughs> so, I know exactly who this is going to. So, that is going to be donated. Um, and I'm just going to kind of walk through a few pieces that I know for sure I'm going to keep or not keep. And then, I will stop it. And I will show you guys the end result of how much stuff I'm actually donating. So, um, let's see. This shirt I am donating. Um, I've had this shirt for years. doesn't fit me anymore. Like, it fits really tight. It does not flatter my arms at all whatsoever. Um, never did, honestly. I just would always wear a cardigan with it. But... Yeah, gonna get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> so this is a Christmas apron. Um, I love smelling it because it, it, all of this is just clean. So it smells really good. Um, I don't know if I should keep this. Um, I feel like... So there is no emotional attachment to this. I actually, when I bought my Christmas tree, um, we got a big lot of things. So like, um, just a lot, like a lot of Christmas decor, um, and 
these aprons and a tablecloth so um, there is no emotional attachment to this it does not give me joy so I'm going to donate this and I think next year if I do want some aprons I'll just buy some and that I love because that is not something I love um, let's see so this is one of hubby's favorite shirts so we're not getting rid of this this is something he wears often um, so this shirt was actually gifted to my husband but I um, kind of adopted it and would always wear it I'm gonna put this aside because I am like emotionally attached to this I love this shirt um, when I was younger I got a Chicago Bulls um, a jacket and so when I got this when my husband received this shirt last year for Christmas I fell in love with it and mind you it does have some like permanent stains on it that won't come off but it's one of my favorite shirts to wear around the house so I'm going to just set that aside um, <clears throat> so this sweater is one of my favorites. I actually have had this since I was about 17, 18 years old. Um, it's really old and there is a lot of emotional attachment to this, but um, if we're talking in terms of do I get happy when I see this? Am I excited to wear this in my wardrobe? I, I, I'm not. And um, it's just been put away for a long time. And I think it's time to say goodbye. It's in really good condition. So somebody would really enjoy this and, you know, get it, put it to use. Whereas I no longer wear this, this sweater. So um, I think this will be a hope. This will be a blessing to someone. And one of the things, one of the tips she had, if you really love that, um, item that you're donating and you have that sentimental attachment <sighs> say thank you so like thank you for the memories thank you for keeping me warm um, I'm thankful for the time that I had this and now we're I'm saying goodbye <laughs> so there we go that's that um, let's see These shorts are hubbies and um, they don't fit him very well but he still puts them on and I think that they should be donated and we will just get him some other ones. Um, it's winter time anyway, it's not, get it, not going to be hot anytime soon so I think we have some time to um, maybe around his birthday. I can give him some new shorts. We're gonna donate those. Um, <clears throat> these pants, so when I first bought these pants, they were too big for me, they're huge. And now they actually fit, but um, I don't plan on staying the size that I am for much longer. And these really do not flatter me at all and I want to say not even thank you <laughs> I just am ready to donate this goodbye um, okay so these pajamas are one of my favorites I like to wear it with my Chicago shirt um, my best friend gave me these I'm not gonna get rid of them I can't say goodbye just yet. I do feel joy when I see these and keeping these. So those are one of my favorite pajamas. <clears throat> so this shirt I actually bought, um, I think it was on a trip. Um, I bought it, I think I bought this in Houston at an Old Navy in Houston um, with my aunt. 
and so there is kind of like an emotional attachment I remember kind of the season that I was in and when I bought this shirt um I really love it oh it wasn't in Houston but it was for our trip to Houston so um it fits me it does fit me very well and I think that I'm gonna keep it just because um, I, I mean it fits me well I do love the color it is something I wear often maybe not once a week but at least two three times a month so I really like this one and we're gonna keep that this shirt is um, I actually got a really good deal on this shirt and I had some matching pants <laughs> but my husband did not like the matching pants um, and you know, I just realized it was not something that, um, kind of flattered. And so I ended up returning the pants, but I kept the shirt. And although I love the pattern, um, of the shirt, it, it's, it gets very hot and I'm very hot natured. So, I mean, well, sometimes I can be hot natured. And so it's not really comfortable with the... The long sleeves I really don't like wearing long sleeves like except for this one this is one of my favorite ones but because I feel like it's breathable and this is not so I am going to donate this one this is one of the items that I do kind of have a an emotional attachment just because um, I the last job that I had where I was working full-time um, I bought that this shirt during that time I always wore it a lot and it just reminds me of my time there which um when I left my last job it was really because I had a lot of health issues and also because I just realized that I needed to invest my hard work into my myself and my own business um instead of a company so you know I'm currently doing that but anyways it, it just kind of reminds me of my happy times there before I got you know started having health issues and everything else and I was you know we were working as a team with my coworkers and just kind of loving my job um, it reminds me of that time so I want to say thank you to the shirt um, and goodbye <laughs> okay so this dress um, is hard because it's new I've never worn it. I took off the tags because I was going to wear it and then I didn't. So I feel like this would be a good Easter dress. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. But I may be donating it right after. It's not something that I'm completely in love with. But it is cute and it'll save me some money from buying a, an Easter outfit. So I'm going to keep that one. <clears throat> this dress I wore for my best friend's wedding. Um, I actually got a really good deal on this one. I bought it at Dee Dee's for, I think it was like $2. It was like $1.89 or something. It was on clearance. It was on sale, then it went on clearance, then it went on clearance again. So it was like super, super cheap. I love the color because um that's kind of the colors they were using and so it went very well and i was matching actually with the maid of honor so this was a good color for the wedding i love lace so for it to be the two things that i like that i needed um it was very convenient and i loved it um but i didn't like how it showed my arms and um, just overall I don't think I would wear this again so thank you for that lovely memory um, I loved the detail of the dress it had a little like a mermaid tail but very you know silky I loved it um, but thank you for that beautiful memory my best friend's wedding but I don't think I'll wear it again so um, so 
So this dress, I wear very like funerals, a lot of funerals. I've worn this dress to a lot of funerals. Um, I used to wear it to church a lot. It's one of my favorite outfits to wear. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether to keep it. Every lady, every woman needs her black dress, right? Um, I don't know if I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to set it aside. Um, so I'm going to do one more thing and then I'm going to stop it and come back once I'm done. Um... So this is one of the, this is one of my favorite um, blouses to wear. I wore this out for a good three years. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's still one of my favorite shirts and let's see, I'm going to put it over so y'all can kind of see. So, this is what it looks like. I always have to wear an undershirt with it because it is see-through, kind of. It has a very transparent kind of cloth. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really fit me as good as it did. I feel like it doesn't flatter me very well. Um, <sighs> I really like it, but um, when I sit down, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe I'll just set this aside for now. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And I will be back once I'm done. We have um, the basket here is up to this point. Um, I will come back at the end of it and show you guys where we're at. 